Whew, what's going on everybody? So today, I'm actually in Harper's Ferry, West Virginia. And yeah, just wanted to take the time, just here hiking with the family, but I wanted to talk to you about the five things every percussionist should know. Oh yeah, you already know. Whew. So the first thing that every percussionist should know is how to play the shaker. If you don't know how to play the shaker, I don't know. I really don't know. But you gotta play the shaker. Play it well. like in like an ambient type of vibe you know like not just knowing how to do it technically wise you know but you know to play the chimes all the all those little minor accessories you got to do it The second thing every percussionist should know is definitely how to do just a basic, basic, basic tumbao. You know, bass finger slap, finger, bass finger, two opens. You know, the basic tumbao. Everybody should know that. See, the thing about the tumbao and why every percussionist should know it is because it's so versatile. You could literally take it to different places, man, and cut it up and chop it up. Make it your own. Gotta love doom doom you got you. Every percussionist needs to know how to play a basic doom bao. The third thing every percussionist should know, at least, at least, and I'm not saying be a master at it, but they should have some sort of 
clave concept. They should at least know the difference between two, three song clave. Three, two song clave. And just a basic rumba clave. You know, I, I'm not saying be a master at it, but to at least be able to, to distinguish between them both. Because, you know, it's as percussionists, that's what we live by. We live by the clave, man. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. And also, every percussionist should know at least some basic cajon patterns. Maybe not, you know, folklore Peruvian stuff or some Spanish stuff, but at least, you know, if somebody calls you up for an acoustic set, you know what to do, you know? do at least a little bit of some drum patterns and stuff like that but at least a little bit of cajon because I'm telling you sometimes as a percussionist those are the gigs you normally end up getting is you playing with a cajon and just literally doing a couple things here and there on the cajon trying to act like a drummer when in actuality you're just yeah taking over a drummer's part but yeah at least you should know a little bit of cajon play just a little bit And the final thing, every percussionist should at least know how to do some sort of multi-percussion kind of concept, either congas and bongos. shaker bongo and shaker cajon and shaker Some sort of form where you could do two things at once. That is probably what's going to give you more jobs, more gigs, people noticing you more. Maybe not overdoing it, having everything on every limb or something like that. But at least, at least 
know at least two things and try to accent them and try to compliment them at the same time. That's very important. Ooh, the sun, the sun. Also bonus one and not many probably are down for this, but you should at least try to know some sort of sticking instrument, either be timbales, just a regular kit, drum set, timpani, whatever. You know, it should be something that allows you to kind of experience the world of sticking to understand its rudiments, to understand its techniques. It's always great to be as versatile as possible as a percussionist because you never know when somebody's gonna call you for a specific gig. You just never know. But yeah, that's a bonus one. Not really, well it's necessary, but it's a bonus one, all right? But all right everybody, I really do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. It's a little bit different, but yeah, just wanted to decide I'm gonna take you guys hiking with me and uh, see the good vibes. Oh yeah, and that's, uh, that's me playing in the background. But you gotta love it. Alright y'all, y'all already know what to do. Like, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a great day.